At the first ever Inter-Drone Conference and Expo in Las Vegas, a co-founder of Drone Deploy spoke to POB about the new company, which develops end-to-end -end software for drone mapping. We aren't actually building drones or sensors, we're just on the software side. And the software that we're producing uh, lives in, in two main different camps. The one camp is how do we make sure that you collect the appropriate data. So we have an app, right now it's only for Android, uh, but we're coming out with an iOS one relatively soon. And this allows you to just select an area that you want to create a map of. And we will generate the appropriate flight pattern. We will make sure the drone takes off, it flies there, it captures imagery in the right places, it comes back and it lands. And then the second part of our processing and, and uh, software suite is once that data gets uploaded into our cloud infrastructure, that's when we can actually start doing the processing, the analysis. And once that data is up in our cloud, we will be able to give you like a 2D author mosaic within five minutes. So you'll be able to start actually using that data while you're out there in the field and make sense of that data. Just getting that data itself is not really the end result that people are looking for. So we have this uh, suite of cloud software that we have the data in there and we have this beautiful presentation system that will let you look at it anywhere you are. So you have your data in your pocket everywhere you go and you can see where you are on the data you just created. And while you're out there in the field, you can start annotating this data. In terms of the use cases, uh, I, would, I would recommend anyone to go to blog.dronedeploy.com. Uh, we basically highlight a number of fantastic use cases of, of our individual customers and really dig deep into not drones are awesome, but here is an example of a drone being used for a specific use case with a real ROI and showing what those numbers look like, what the time savings are, and what the cost savings are. We've got great ones in agriculture, we've got great ones in construction, and surveying, and mining. Seeing people have conversations around geospatial data is, is incredible. And this kind of stuff's only really possible with, with the cloud. You know, we have users that have just multiple terabytes of data on our system for just one user. And there's, there's no way that they can easily transport or share or manage that data, especially because this is geospatial, they're mobile workers, so they're out there in the field. You can't have you know, 10 terabytes on your iPad and, and try and zoom in and, and digest that. So having that, that storage capability, that processing capability, and the ability to just take it everywhere you're going is, I think, the major benefits.